All right, we've got an interesting question here. David asks, um, what is your opinion on taking one hour weekly on platforms like italki? Is there any tips you can give in how it's best to use time with those tutors to improve output? This is an interesting question because I have used italki a lot and I know that a lot of people use italki or similar platforms for language learning with tutors. And um, I think it's something that you should do the right way. What is the right way? The wrong way, let's talk about the wrong way first. The wrong way is to try to learn the language from scratch with an online tutor. You just rely on the tutor, you take one or two uh, sessions a week or three or one a or daily session, doesn't matter. And you just show up and, and learn with them. That's the wrong way to do it. Uh, I don't know what your financial financial means are, but um, it's going to be relatively expensive to do that, but that's not the problem. Um, more than that, a lot of these tutors tend to be not great at uh, structure. And if you are starting from scratch and you don't know almost anything in the language or you know very little, it's mostly going to be, uh, hello, my name is Mikkel, nice to meet you, blah, blah, blah. And then you're like, uh, what now? And you mostly speak English and they teach you a word and then another word or, or like a phrase for conversation. And you learn like three or four phrases per session in total. Um, you learn more stuff, but... You get you you for how much time and money you're spending on it, you learn very little. You are improving, but your perception of improvement will be much bigger because you're interacting with someone, so you get the dopamine hits, and you you will feel like you're improving a lot, and your confidence will will go up, and you'll you'll be like, oh, yeah, my Spanish is improving. I can say this, I can say that, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not that much that you can say. Uh, and also you can't understand that much uh, if you just do that because um, tutors will really slow down and simplify what they uh, their speech, uh, what they're saying so that you understand them yeah, they will speak like that ahora vamos a hablar en español um, and the reality of it is once you're outside that bubble of the tutor, it's going to be much more difficult to understand anything. So relying just on online tutors to learn, it's a bad idea, in my opinion. Now, what you're asking here is if it's a good idea to uh, take one hour weekly on platforms like italki, and then you say you're already working on language islands to try to improve output. So in that case, absolutely, it's a great idea to take a weekly hour on platforms like italki. Because if you work on language islands, you prefer, you pre prepare, not prefer, uh, a list of sentences uh, on your own and you practice saying them every day and you learn hundreds of sentences that way, you rehearse them over and over again, that hour will be much more enjoyable and also uh, it, it will be a reward. You'll be looking forward to it because you get to show off everything you've been learning. Um, conversation will be much better instead of mostly speaking English and then explaining stuff in English and then teaching you some words and some expressions. You'll be having a full-on conversation with them if you do this. Uh, so it'll be really rewarding. And it'll be uh, something that's much less stressful than real life conversation in the real world, but still it's more challenging than just saying the, uh, just saying like listening and repeating or doing exercises on your own, right? It's a in between thing between, um, between speaking to yourself and real world speaking practice. So I talk you once a week, conversation once a week, uh, great idea. Relying only on conversation to learn, terrible idea. 
that's my advice. Work on your comprehension and on, and on your output on your own. So learn the vocab, do as much listening as you can, prepare language islands, um, listen and repeat a lot, do speaking on your own a lot, and then either go to, either get some sort of italki lessons or, or, or go to some meetup to like language exchange, something like that once a week, maybe twice a week, but that's it. Um, and that should be rewar the, the rewarding thing. And the rest of the time you work in on your comprehension and your input uh, and your output on your own. Uh, but yeah, it's a good idea and it will keep you motivated. So yeah, do it. <laughs>